What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're just gonna pretty much start right where we left off. Oh, that won't do. Oh. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting. Look at the picture on the back. I better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. What? My head was a manuscript page? Thomas Zane's writing an assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Clearing what? up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like. Moonbeams on the brain. The oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took what? something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. I'd miss shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong just ask the lamp lady she knows what happened to that other rider she's been using you boy and you let her you went and opened the door for her didn't you now now it was already open a crack and whose fault is that we're morally corrupt disease ridden old and stupid doesn't mean he had to open it all the way god damn it uh, what the fuck? That's a lot so of context. Tired. But the farm close to the lake? Place of power? To the lake. A place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. Wait, come on, tell me more, tell me more. That Bob Balder threw the app through the window. Hit that a hippie chick. In the back of the head. Bob's dead now, leukemia. 15 stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Okay, I think that's stitches, it. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Yeah, I think, I think that's all they gotta say. I am tired, man. So tired. Yeah, okay. Go back to the room. They they know what's going on. Yeah, 
thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Why do they want me to write so much? I don't trust none of this. There's a generator on wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. What the fuck? So we're still in it. Can't wait. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. Okay, hang on. Oh, hey, another QR code. Hang on. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Are you serious? This is so dumb. It's a freaking meme. It just says constipation. That looks painful. <laughs> that's so stupid. I don't know who left those, but that's all. You're awesome. That's that's awesome. Okay, let's grab the simmer real quick and let's go back to the room. Get this uh, story going. We already wasted plenty of time. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? Here's a friendly poke from the old here, witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. Are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Na ha ha It's my store! I'm taking it! We're on a comeback tour, baby! Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Yeah, that's not right. What the hell? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's the goons, she had it coming. Yours, I could get the key to the office from destiny. Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript first. pages. That's where he'd be the keeping them. Okay. Maybe you could come out and beat our wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, hang on. I've got the keys, so I'm wondering... Can I get in here? 
I want to find the old... Ah, oh, damn, okay. I was hoping to find the room to the, that the old men were staying in. Odin and Tor. Okay. Okay. What the hell? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. Look. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. What the hell? This, this is all Hartman? Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Oh, fucking great. So Hartman's part of all of this crap. Hartman must know what's going on. If he's the one who's painting all this, he's painted the darkness. Look at that. He must know. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> Just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Yep, the creepy phone call. Hartman's been fucking with us this entire time. Look, that's freaking Mott. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? Or I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split! Barry. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I'm Barry. Famous. Ow! The freaking color. Time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, 
That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. <laughs> That's so stupid. So he just came in here with the freaking cut out of me. Okay. Hey, my gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. What the hell? Great. Alright boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.